Hey guys, it's Dave from Dave's Dimension. I'm back. It's been a while since I did a video. So here I am, back. It's been a while. You know, everyone's quarantining. Everyone's doing what they can with everything going on in the world. We don't want to use those certain words, YouTube. Uh, so here I am, I'm back. I'm trying to do a video. Uh, got the old Proton Pack in the background. The Flux Pack right next to it. Don't worry about these little monitors. I'm working from home. Been that way since March. <laughs> well, Flux Pack is going to be getting a little, little upgrade, a little, a little facelift. Not an overhaul, but she's going to be getting some new paints and maybe a few little add-ons here and there. Also, in the works, I have a companion piece for the Flux Pack. A flux trap yeah I don't know how that's gonna turn out I got a few crazy ideas going on in my head I'm still waiting for a few uh, various pieces to come on in but I'm going to be making a flux trap a back to the future themed ghost trap uh, based off the Walmart imagine traps I mean, they're $19.99. It's pretty inexpensive, especially if you're going to fool around and mod some stuff. Got some crazy ideas for it, so we'll see how that turns out. But, got another project. Now, my wife recently joined the Ghostbuster group that I'm a part of. So you know what that means. It means, well, I get to... Play around with the new pack. Now, of course, I have my little pack here, my spirit pack. Now, I'm not going to duplicate that because she's going to be an RGB style. For those who don't know what RGB is, that does not mean red, green, blue. That means real Ghostbusters. So yeah, she's got a. She's going to be her own unique. Ghostbuster. She's going to have a blue suit that she's working on. And I'm going to be modding her spirit pack, which is still in the box. Still in the box, ready to go. I'm going to be doing an RGB style. Now, I'm taking cues from a few people I've seen on Facebook. And also, I've seen a uh, video of someone who did an RGB style Proton Pack last year. RGB style spirit pack, I should say. Uh, you know him, Jason from Ghostbusters News. Definitely, he knocked it out of the park. I mean, yeah, you're just taking a, a spirit pack, taking the shell, adding some color to it, doing some paint jobs, and he printed out some pretty awesome little uh, 3D printed extras to it. Even gave it a nice little cone tip for the tip of the Neutrona wand. Without sound, he nailed it. He knocked it out of the park. It looks bloody amazing. Okay? Definitely, if you don't follow Ghostbusters News, you should, you know, right after you're done with this video, go ahead, jump over there, type, him, type it up, Ghostbusters News. Follow him. Follow his site and follow his videos. He covers just about anything and everything GB related. You won't miss out. Now, the art, now, he has a 3D printer. It's great. 3D printers are becoming more and more commonplace. Fortunately, I don't have access to a 3D printer, at least not yet. So I'm going to be doing a lot of this stuff the old-fashioned way. Scrap pieces here and there, find something where I can just take it apart, repaint it, maybe cut it up, epoxy it, hot glue it, Gorilla glue it, you name it, it's getting glued, it's getting attached or screwed somewhere. I mean, my flux pack here, a lot of it is scrap pieces. My flux bar is an LED bar that I got from Amazon, like $8. Part of the flux bar is just old oxygen hose, because I'm an asthmatic, I have old nebulizer hose. So I cut it up, silver painted it, took a little piece of soldering metal, to kind of give it shape and form and I kind of hot glued it there. I'm going to be replacing that and upgrading it with some epoxy to make it a little bit more cleaner look and more durable. Mr. Fusion, 
is just, he's just a USB charger for like a car. I took out the guts, some pieces from Joanne's Fabrics, some hazard tape, and I have some basic deck screws and screwed them right into the flux pack. A lot of stuff are just loose pieces. I mean, this right here, this is the tip of an oxygen hose connected to a single LED wire, again, from Amazon. Scrap pieces, whatever you can imagine is what you can do with it. You look at something sideways, hey, maybe I'm looking at a little uh, Gatorade cap. Well, I can turn that sideways, paint that a certain color, and maybe I have a cap for a piece there, or a doll, or even a gauge for the RGB. It all depends on what you can imagine, what you can come up with. Yeah, 3D printers are fun. Well, there's a lot of scaling, a lot of work involved. So anyone who works with 3D printers, I have nothing but respect for you. I can't even imagine learning half that stuff. Some of us are good with their hands, some are good with computers, some are good with their minds. It all depends on what works best for you. Now her, my wife's pack is gonna be real Ghostbusters color themed. I'm not gonna do a ribbon. Uh, a lot of people have done ribbons. Um, I'm gonna do some basic stuff. And she's not, my wife's not a big technical person. I love her. But she's not the biggest technical person. And she's not all about the bells and whistles like I am. So, I went a little off script. Usually, the flux pack and my main proton pack, Winona, don't ask, Farscape. Uh, it's basically comprised of either GB fans or Sponge Face, which basically is the same uh, same vendor, Doug K, who designs all the Spirit Upgrade stuff for he Sponge Face McGee, and he designs the Spirit gear or the GB fans gear. That's what I have in my pack. That's what I have in the Flux pack. I have the Spirit Upgrade sound sound card in there. The lights, everything's in there. I have the GB, GB fan soundboard lights, lenses. I just put the new lenses in there. I'm loving the darker, thicker lenses, to be honest. I'm going to be doing that for the Flux Pack. I got a set here for the Flux Pack and another set for the wife's pack for her RGB. But I decided to get a little experimental since I'm going to be doing some experimental stuff on her real Ghostbusters. If you haven't heard of them, Frank and Geek on Facebook. Look him up. He's becoming to be pretty popular on Facebook. A lot of people have done nothing but uh, sung his praise. I've never worked with any of his stuff, so this is going to be a first time for me. Okay? Usually I swear by Doug and Spongeface. I swear by that gear. It's very friendly. It's very plug and play. However, you can't just keep going to the same pizzeria all the time. Variety is the spice of life. It's good to get out there and play with other stuff. I mean, my pack, I replaced my old wands, got a new wand on here, got a kit from Carnivorous Creations, took the GB Fans gear, put it right inside there, and I freaking love that kit. Not only is it a great, awesome kit, by the way, Got the Swiss action right here. I mean, this thing looks amazing. It was, it did not come like this. It was all in a thousand different pieces. I painted it, followed instructions, and also thanks to some help. Uh, some suggestions here and there from some of my fellow teammates. I have this thing of beauty. It's got weight to it too. I mean, I know a lot of people like to do the 3D printed kits this thing I mean you feel I mean you can feel the weight in here this is an all resin setup aluminum rail aluminum bar here resin grips there's no need for the like the little pesky zip ties that some people have done which I know is screen accurate the screws just went right into the pole here into the 
pipe worked perfectly. I mean, this kit was fantastic. And from a distance, this looks like it's a real clipper, but it's actually a resin. Resin pieces all around. I threw a little V hook I got on eBay. A little hook here from Ben Kent. And she's fantastic. I mean, it's good to get out of your comfort zone and do some crazy stuff now and again. So, after doing that, and honestly, this was a labor of love. I'm dying to do something more. I'm dying to do something big. Like, I want to I want to do a new pack. And not a spare pack. I want to do a full scale pack. But that'll come in the future. But I mean, it's good to try different stuff. That's what I'm getting at. So, I went and got this. The, sorry. Got that. The Franken Geek. And here's the thing. Take a look at this bag. Yeah, that's right. No soldering required. No soldering required. He includes everything. He's got his electronics right in a nice anti-static bag. So, his kit... His pack kits, I should say, because he also is developing a wand kit, so he's going to have a wand pack kit available in the coming uh, coming time. I don't know what his time frame is. So I just got the pack. But here's the good thing. His pack consists of the power cell bar. And this piece, this little square piece in here, let me take it out, show you guys. So here we are with the power cell. Pretty simple, pretty plug and play, right? And here, I mean, this is just amazing. It's the thing of beauty, just on first glance. Yeah, he's got his cyclotron lights, right? All the connectors are right there. So this is basically the motherboard. And yes, folks, that's a micro SD. So he's got everything connected. So basically what he did was he took the concept with, which is what most people do with the full scale packs. You know how they will mount the lights perfectly in the cyclotron part. Well, that's what he did. He basically took everything. And by the way, these have small screw holes. So guess what? They fit exactly underneath the cyclotron using the stock screws and, and holes on the inside of the pack. This will fit perfectly in the stock ones. How ingenious is that? I mean, think about that. You don't have to put any new special holes or anything in. It fits right in there perfectly under the stock ones, okay? Also, he's got a little, yep, that's right, a little auxiliary jack. So you can put like a little, maybe a little Bluetooth adapter in there and sync up your phone and play whatever music you want through the pack. And I mean, these LEDs, they look so durable and so I'm wondering like just how bright they're going to be. I'm going to do a follow-up video so you guys can see. But just look, everything's so plug and play here. No soldering at all. This thing, I mean, it's... I'm amazed by it. I haven't tried it out tried it out yet so I don't know how well it really is like I said I'm gonna do a follow-up video but so far just by the looks of the gear I'm liking it I mean if it's if it turns out that well who knows maybe I'll do some changes for the flux pack or if I do I actually had someone reach out to me and ask me if I could do another flux pack I might consider doing that who knows now for the rest of his stuff. And once again, here's his uh, card. You can find him on Facebook. Hit him up. He was very friendly, very cordial, answered every question without hesitation, and has rapidly responded to me. So, as far as wiring, what does it come with? Well, I'll answer you. First, 
he's got this little bundle of two toggle switches. Okay, one is a bonus switch, one is your main power. So you can have a toggle, and this, by the way, this is meant for the stock Spirit Wand. So we're not doing any fancy 3D printing, we're not doing, getting a replacement wand. We're using the stock wand, we're keeping the electronics in the wand stock. That's right, the Spirit will plug right into this board. So the Spirit Wand is still gonna plug into here. You're just bypassing what's in there. You're just gonna unplug it, plug it into this uh, Cyclotron motherboard. And then, and then, this wire, this little bad boy right here, this plugs into one end, plugs into the motherboard, or the uh, central board, I should say, and this one plugs into the power cell. There you go, your power cell and your cyclotron are hooked up, right? You run, this is so long, it's gonna run through your hose loom all the way to your wands. You drill in two holes on the wand so you can have these sticking out, just like you would normally see on the wands, right by the light bar graph. That's perfect spot for them. You put them right there, right? You're gonna leave the, the trigger, you're gonna leave the LED and the internal wiring inside the wand just the way it is, you're not touching it. Because the way his board is set up, and also, by the way, you see this? Yeah, he includes an upgraded speaker that you just simply unscrew the old speaker, the stock spirit speaker out, you put this guy in, it's an upgraded FM speaker. So this will give you more sound, more strength. And guess what? He, like I said, he has a micro SD card on his board, right? So if you wanted to, and if you're creative enough, and he gives you instructions, uh, at least on his page he does, he has a link to a Google Drive that has a PDF with all the instructions. But he gives you, he tells you how, if you want to, you want to change some of the files, you can do that. But I've seen videos of this, and guys, it's amazing. It's own, It's basically where it's programmed to give a different kind of a flicker as far as the LED flash when you hit the trigger on the wands. And also the sound is much more upgraded and precise. I mean, this thing, uh, the video I saw, it, oh, it practically sealed the deal for me, okay? So, I mean, this kit looks pretty solid. I said looks, because I'm not gonna say, oh yeah, this thing works perfectly. I haven't tested it yet, I'm not gonna do that. I work in customer service, so I am not gonna say, oh yeah, sure, it's gonna work. No, I haven't tested it yet. I'm gonna be doing a follow-up video with this to give everyone an actual demonstration. I don't know how soon it'll be. It might be a week, might be two weeks, depends on how quickly I can work on it. So, got the RGB pack for my wife. A lot of it, a lot of it's just gonna be repaint. But hey, if anyone out there has any suggestions for me, I'm taking my time with, with my wife's pack because, well, one, she just had surgery, so she's not gonna be bouncing around throwing a pack on her back. And two, I really want to take my time and do things right and make this thing look as great as I possibly can. And then, of course, I'm going to be touching up a few pieces on the flux pack, like the ribbon. A lot of times, a lot of people have had trouble getting these ribbons to look just right. So the flux, it's kind of out of shape. So I'm going to take a lot of pieces apart and try and repaint it, give it a new look, a little, maybe a new lease on life. Got the flux trap coming. Now, I don't know how many of you have worked on the Walmart traps, the Imagine traps, as they're often called. I have fooled around with them a little bit. I got this bad boy on Amazon. This nice heavy duty pedal. Now I haven't done the wiring to make it detachable, but that's coming soon. So right now I have this actually, it is actually held and zip tied together directly to the, to the trap itself. 
Um, I th this is about a 90 percent, 90 to 95 percent uh, sponge face. I got his cosmetic kits. And there was a few, uh, a few accidents that happened, so it's not a hundred percent, but it's about 90 to 95 percent. Like I got this piece. This is a separate piece I had. I put it on there. It's static. It's not movable. But these are. I mean, this is just amazing. If you, if you want to make a trap look movie accurate, you definitely should hit up Sponge Face. His kits look amazing. Also, I got his wheel kit. So yeah, this is pretty close to movie accurate. Pretty close. Not 100%, but pretty close. Like, he gives you a nice little bar. Gives you all the faux screws to replace the stock screws with. Nice little metal piece right here. A little vinyl piece, I guess you could say. Now, this... This is not part of his kit. This I got through the KLS Ghostbusters on Amazon, or not on Amazon, eBay. They do a uh, belt holster, but they make the holes wider. So you could like, take a Rothko, uh, the thicker, more up, more up to date military belts, loop it right through without any, any troubles. So for a big guy like me, that works fantastic. Now on the other side, Sponge Face Doug K, he does give you real transistors and this moves. This dial moves. It's great. It's got a little potentiometer and again, he gives you a little panel here. Now the labels you're looking at here, this is from Moby Signs on Etsy. I highly recommend them. If you're in the Spirit Facebook group or any of the Ghostbuster groups, you probably have heard people reference him. He makes some pretty awesome labels. Does some worn, nice worn looking faded labels. Nice beat up look. I actually have some of his metallic looking labels on my pack. He's definitely worth a look at. He does just about everything. I mean, he did these labels pack labels and I even have a uh, real Ghostbusters Ecto-1 that I've done up as an Ecto-2 or I should say the Ecto-1A uh, Ghostbusters 2 and I got the labels from him on Etsy so he's definitely worth a look he actually offers two styles one is a direct Kenner reproduction and the other one is his own version which kind of streams you don't have the really super big white outlines. He streamlines them, streamlines them a little bit better. So, I mean, I like this. I actually hooked this on the little loop, the metal loop part on my Alice frame. So I can just hang this and then I have my trap on the holster. So it works out pretty well. And plus, when you have this hanging on your Alice frame, it reduces the weight around you too. So you're not being weighted down as much. And this thing, I think I paid like, I don't know, $15, $17 on Amazon. This thing is heavy duty. It originally comes orange and kind of like a gunmetal, oh, I shouldn't say gunmetal gray, more of a true gray. But I gave it black, painted this red, and I took some scrapes on it. Because, hey, it needs to look like it's been battered and used up. And... My team, we actually did a couple events at a local drive-in, and I actually let some kids just stomp the hell out of this. And it works perfectly. Um, with the trap, of course, the big issue is the battery draining on these. Well, I have a toggle switch, come, a little set of toggle switches coming in. Should be in, in a day or two. And I get to see if what I saw online is the way to go, because on the Walmart, there's three or four wires going across. Apparently, you take the two outside ones, you leave the two in the center, and you connect those to the toggle switch. That's your main power. So we'll see if that works. Who knows? Maybe I'll throw that in the next video. So, well, that's it. That's the update. 
So the Franken Geek kit, I'm going to be opening it up. I'm going to be hopefully maybe testing it later on this evening or maybe tomorrow. So we're going to see what happens with this and we're going to see how awesome, if it is awesome, we're going to see how awesome it turns out. And I will give you a review and I'll be giving you my honest opinion, guys. So if you haven't already, give a like, subscribe, hit that bell for new updates on these videos. I got some more videos coming up and some that might not have popular opinions because in the Ghostbuster community, there's been some criticisms lately. So we'll, we'll see what happens. So until next time, this is Dave from Dave's Dimension. Keep on busted.